peace be upon you. As we notice from the descendants of Jesus, Jesus did not come from a flawless family or a righteous ancestor. We find people from the chosen race that are pagans. Men and women are adulterers, murderers, kings, slaves, and ordinary people. The genealogy of Jesus reminds us of three things of love. First, we are wounded but valued. Second, we are wounded yet transformed. Third, we are wounded and so empowered. First, wounded but valued. Our family might be suffering, dysfunctional, and full of cruelty blemishes. But this does not mean that the grace of God cannot come into. We can be like Jesus in the Gospel. Although our ancestors have had sinisters past, we can still raise ourselves out of its wickedness and make an antidote to make a journey headed for the road of holiness. Yes, maybe we can associate our family with a rose. We all know that a rose is thorny, yet beautiful. So does our family. We may feel an encounter within the family, the thorns of difficulties and struggles of being wounded in its sense. But out of its woundedness, we can still appreciate the beauty despite its brokenness. Because through these circumstances, God's grace comes in. Wounded yet transformed. Brothers and sisters, let's be like Jesus, who straightened out the curved history of the past. We are an image of a broken whole. Yet, He transformed us into a better family. He is the perfection of forgiveness and second chances. Jesus Christ is the wounded healer himself. Wounded and so empowered. With our brokenness, we are now asked and challenged to love our broken and endured family and appreciate its beauty. Let us stand with our family, love our family, and be proud of our family, because you and I are exactly what the family needs. Be with your family. Be with your home. Empowerment allows each family to become God's healing power, inspiration, and strength for each of us. Indeed, this is Christmas. The Lord came to value, transform, and empower the family despite its woundedness. A blessed Christmas.